Hey everyone, today we're gonna check out some timing chains on an N20 using a boroscope. This is an OIWAC, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, endoscope. It's a five millimeter scope and it actually has a dual camera, a front camera and a side camera. Normal price is around $89.99 and it's on sale for $69.99 right now. And let's take a quick look. Comes with a user manual charging cable, it does come with a couple of adapters, and a pretty long cable here. So you would use something like this for automotive use, or you can even use it inside your house if you're stuffing it down a drain. You probably reach from the front of the back to the vehicle. You have a nice display screen, and this is perfect. I think the on switch is on the side. Has a memory card and you can change the brightness right here. You can see it's got good resolution, that's front. All right, so we can switch from a front camera or a side camera. All right, so the reason why I'd recommend this one is because it does have a relatively small head on it. Um, I think it's a 5.5 millimeter. It has the front camera and the side camera. You switch from the front, front camera to the side camera. It's very easy. There's a little button here. And you can see it lit up the side camera. All right, so when you're inspecting something, you can look straight in and you can switch it to the side very easily has a very nice display screen so you can see what's going on. It does record video and it does take pictures and it does save it to the card and you can hook it up to the computer via a USB. So what would you use this for? Using a borescope in diagnosis is very important because now you can get to places that you normally can't see, look under the intake manifold, pull a spark plug out, uh, pull an O2 sensor out, we can look at the catalytic converter monolith, and we can look at timing chains and timing chain tensioners on an N20, which are breaking on some BMWs. So I have an engine behind me. We're gonna use this and do an inspection of the timing chain. Now with this, we're gonna go right through the oil filler cap area with the borescope, and then we can inspect what's happening inside the engine, get this set up. All right, so you can see right there, there's your timing chain and that's the guide. So we just have to slowly go down and inspect for broken components, which does take a little bit of finesse and a little bit of just finding the right path. Okay, so there's some more guide. And actually that's the chain sprocket down there. So from what it looks like on this particular engine, and I'll go down a little bit further here. That the timing chain guides are actually intact. There's no failure that I would see because I can see right on top of the sprocket. Now I'm all the way down by the crank sprocket. And there's no debris. Normally you'd see broken pieces when the timing chain is going and you can't actually see so let's switch it to the side view. There we go. Alright so there's the chain and there's the guide. You can see the guide is all intact. So this does not have a guide failure. That's not the reason why this engine failed. We're going to be taking apart this engine to see what may have caused this engine to fail. Now this came in partially seized and you know the circumstances that led up to the failure and I will let you know as we take it apart. But I thought this would be a fun project. Maybe we'll do timing. Maybe we'll see what a timing chain job would look like if you're curious. But this is just using a boroscope to inspect the timing chain. And this is an OIWAC boroscope, which is very affordable. So even if you damage the tip, I mean, these tips with my snap-on um, boroscope, just these, these tips alone 
will run me over a hundred dollars. So it's probably even closer to two hundred dollars now. So it's almost worth it just to buy a new boroscope with this nice screen on it. You can take pictures, you can do video, it really does everything. So you can inspect all different locations. You can adjust the brightness right on the side over here. Camera brightness just on the side. So when you're going in and it's too bright, right? we can see that bore. And we can look all in there and just see if we have any kind of issue. This is a coolant passage. Right? We can use a straight shot or a side shot. Now you use a boroscope to check valves also. So you can look to see if there's any kind of coking or carbon buildup. This is an exhaust valve. Let's check another one. All right, so this engine doesn't have any coking in it. So there's a lot of great uses to have a boroscope. I'm gonna put the link for this one in the comment section because it is affordable. It does a great job, beautiful display screen, and you know, don't buy the ones with the little adapters to be able to see the 90 degree angle. You're just asking for trouble. Something's gonna get caught and the end's gonna fall off. That's why this one's so great because it has the side camera built in just like my Snap-on that runs over 1500 plus, right? Has a side camera. That's really all you need. Front camera, side camera, a nice display. You can get the job done. You can diagnose everything that you need to. You can use it for automotive and you can use it for wall inspections, checking behind sheetrock. You can check your, your drains. Lots of uses for something like this. The best way to check your timing chains on an N20 is to pick up a boroscope just like this and put it down the oil filler and take a look and see what's inside and see if you're having the timing chain failure. You pick one up and you do the inspection, take some pictures and send it to me. You can just go to my website at askcarexperts.com and hit contact me and shoot me an email and I'll contact you and send me the pictures that you have and I'll help you determine what you're seeing. But if you see any broken guides or any pieces, then you probably have a timing chain failure and you should get to the dealer to get some kind of compensation if your vehicle applies for that class action. I have a video on that which I'll put a link to that you can check out in case you're interested or would like to see if your vehicle qualifies. Alright, thanks for watching and have a great day. And a lot of great videos to come. We're going to be taking this engine apart. I'm pretty excited to check out the failure with you and to do a lot of testing, engine measurements, and disassembly to see what the internals of an N20 look like.